Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode from Local Life Outdoors. We're down here fishing a section of Little PD today, and we should get on um, a nice mess of fish. Y'all stay tuned for the video, this should be a good one. Oh yeah. He's a piece of worm here to start the morning off. Come on, baby. Mm, mm. Come on. Oh, yeah. Another big old shell cracker. Boy, this, this morning starting off pretty good. It's a nice pretty saturday morning we're down here with some family and friends and hopefully we'll get on some fish try to give y'all some good content today got my poles all tangled up here They steady biting about um, anywhere I throw. But a lot of them's little ones. See what I mean? Another fat, juicy worm on here this morning. Somehow, another one I got hung up while ago. I lost my BB. Let me put another BB on here. I always put my BB. A couple inches from a bait you don't want to put it right on top of your bait if you put it on right on top of your bait when I start fishing for with crickets and other live baits you won't have no movement you want movement I'm fishing with the 11 foot little jewel 10 pound trilene extra tough line and one BB and number six hook I'm also fishing out the warrior one-man boat um i really love these boats i'll leave a link in the description on where to purchase them and the prices um they're a very good boat um i have two of them i got one with the live well and one with the cooler system what i like about them they have an elevated seat you know sits up on the track and uh it's a whole lot better on your back for fishing all day, you know, a good little while out here on the water. Cause your knees have a slight bend to them. It's got foot controls that control your steering. Guys, this is a pretty place to fish down here where I'm at. 
these cypress trees here on Little PD. It's just beautiful. See, I should be able to throw it right back up in here around these cypress trees. There ought to be some fish laying around right around these cypress trees. I'm going to throw it right over here in front of me, right here. Let's see if there's a fish laying right there. There should be. Let that grow a little bit more. up around all these cypress trees down here today. line singing guys Woo nice big brim look at there mm. that's what I'm talking about right there I figure I come over here to some of this current right here Let's see if I can get on the brim Come to the boat. That's what I'm talking about right there. I might well just leave this thing recording. 
keep turning it off and I miss stuff. But they, the, fi the fish is on fire today. I believe we'll smoke them today. Guys, there, there, there's some gators down here that they eat this boat. There's some big ones down here. I've seen some down here. One day I lost my GoPro in the water. The water about 18 foot deep. That particular time where I was fishing, a gator swimming across over there on the other side of the water, longer than my boat. That'll make you feel a little uncomfortable. I'm not scared of them, but I don't want to provoke them neither. Oh, that sun's coming in hot. It's gonna be a hot day today. Glad I got me some drinks and some stand-up steaks here to, to eat. I'm right now in an area that I usually catch catch some fish at every year. I just pulled up on it. I usually catch some nice fish right in this area. Some of you know from the video where exactly where I'm at. I don't give out no boat landings to anybody. I just kind of pull them out in the right direction. Um, it's just too dangerous, guys, because um, not that you don't know who will be down here. I don't care about people fishing in my hole. I work hard to find these these places, but uh, that's not my real concern. I mean, there's just a lot of crazy people in this world today. You just got to be careful. As you can see right there, always got my protection with me. Cause you don't know uh, who you gonna run up with down here on this water or, or what they up to. They're biting about fast as I can throw. It's a lot of little ones, but uh, hey, that's better than coming not getting a bite. I can usually tell by the way they biting if it's a small one or a big one. Some of them shell cracker will fool you sometime, but uh, for the most part, I can pretty much tell what's biting. If you're getting a, just a little small little nibble, 
bumping it up and down real fast. Most of the time, that's a small fish. So I'll move on. I'll just pull it up and re-throw. I got my baits here today from... Um, Jughead Jigs and Shalot Inlet Bait Company. I'm going to try some of them today in today's video. I want to catch a nice mess of fish. I'm thinking about having a fish fry over the weekend. And um, we're going to try to try to get on some fish today. I met some of my subscribers down here. Just in the location down here doing a little bit of fishing i ain't seen them in about two years but uh they down here fishing today i hope them good luck if they watching this video I'm going back over here to some of this running water and um, see if I can get on some more of these big brim. talking about right there didn't even know he was on there turned my head him and it was gone and he swallowed it got a fish and got him in the tree <laughs> Little baby, but he hit that thing hard. Here. Oh. I'll tell you what, these fish be pulling in this running water. Well, I'm going to keep him for right this minute. Again, it's got to be a nice one. Big brim. Oh yeah, 
what I'm talking about there. Huh? Right this minute, um, I'm fishing with night crawlers. I got some red worms, but um, right now I'm fishing with night crawlers. They're a little tougher. Stay on the hook a little bit better than the red worms because they're thicker. So that's just the bait of choice right this minute. I might swap over some red worms in a minute, then some crickets, and then some artificial. Another shell cracker. <laughs> Didn't get him on camera. Bit before I knew it. Yes, sir. This area a little bit better.
I'd like to have to turn that one sideways to put him into where? <laughs> I just dig. Uh, excuse me. Come on. Oh yeah. Swallowed it. Come on. You behave. Shell cracker. I had to be careful with that because I had a, a wasp nest above me, above my head, old hornet's nest. I'll lead into Brandon. Got a little, about two and a half foot gator right here in front of me. If I can get close enough, I'll grab him. See if I can ease up on it. Went up under the boat. Where the fish at, Mr. Dane? There's my daddy over there, 75 years old. Gotta wait for the tide to come back in. We're waiting. He's waiting on the tide to come back in where the fish will go back to bite. But uh, he's the one. He's the one that taught me how to fish. And uh, I always grew up fishing. I love being out here on this water. If I go fishing, he usually goes to every every week. I try to go all the time. But he's fishing in his little creek boat. That thing there's heavy as a trying to load a battleship up in the back of the truck i don't know why it's so heavy can't find no water in between the liner or anything we cut that out but it's still heavy it's just a heavy boat we're gonna have to have to move him on up to a warrior boat shortly you, well you stop it that's where you stop <laughs> look at there he just turned the motor off and it's sitting right here in the current that thing won't move it's heavy it take all all you can do two people to load that boat up with no battery or motor in it. That's the heaviest boat, one-man boat I ever tried to load in my life. It's heavy. We, we're trying to wait for the tide. Maybe we can catch some more fish. Then there's Robert over there. He's fishing out of a little gravy boat. And uh, I don't know how many fish he's got over there, but it looks like it's is low to the water, so he must have a bunch of fish too. We all waiting on this tide to, to change out because the fish bite just shut off for the last little while. Pick up one every once in a while, just decent, a bunch of little small ones in between. So y'all just stay tuned. Maybe we'll get back on some fish in a few. Mm, mm, look at yonder. Boy, that's a that's a nice one. He said there was a gator up there on the right now. Daddy's with a with a big one over there, a slab. Let's watch him see if we can get him to the boat. Hopefully he don't pull out. If we do, it'll be on video. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead and get him. 
Get him to the boat. Oh yeah, nice fish there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, he swallowed this hook. Turtle's up there sunning with his legs kicked back. Hello everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's episode from Local Life Outdoors. We managed to get on some fish today down here on a, a section of Little PD River. The, the bite got kind of slow after the tide changed, but we still uh, caught some nice shell cracker. And, and a few few nice brim. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell for upcoming videos. Until next time, guys, have a good one. I'm out.